Greetings fellow MVP baseball fans. Just wanted to take a couple minutes here and make a video for these rosters that I do for MVP Baseball 2005. This is the 2017 version that I'm going to go ahead and go over here with you guys. And perhaps several of you or some of you have already gone on eBay and bought the rosters and everything and you're kind of familiar with how everything works but for those of you that are new to looking at my roster updates in particular, I wanted to take some time and go ahead and show you what I do with my rosters and what I think makes them a good purchase that, you know, really helps keep MVP 2005 alive for you guys. On this particular memory card, I have it saved as 2017 because this is the 2017 version. When you buy, what I do is I put the, the roster on there, uh, the roster file on there three separate times under three different names. Yours won't necessarily be called 2017, but when you buy, I load them up on a 60, 64 megabyte, excuse me, uh, yeah, 64 megabyte memory card and go ahead and put it on there a few times for you. But a lot of you I talk to through eBay messaging and everything, generally you're familiar with how it's done. If you're not, you just go ahead and select the file, go ahead and load it up. While this is loading, I wanted to say that two options. You can buy the memory card on eBay. It's $25 free shipping or it's $20 via AR Max. I'll have some information after the video below in the comments and everything putting out my username and the auction numbers and everything so you can go ahead and find those easily. But again, what I wanted to show you was go ahead and take a look at teams in particular. Let's go ahead and go to, let's go to create an edit player. This is where I like to go to take a look at, at different teams. We'll go ahead and go take a look at Atlanta. The reason why I select them and the reason why I talk about them on the eBay auction is they have the most players in the game. Most teams have between 60 and 70 players, active players, on their roster in the game. The average is about 67 players. Atlanta, they have 79 players. So you can go ahead and go through and you see here Major League, AAA, AA. If you think about it, an average of 68 players, that's less than the 75 you would need to fill out a, a major league AAA and AA team, right? So that's one of the, the shortcomings of the game. Again, if you've played with the rosters before, you know their shortcomings and everything like that. The characters are pretty generic that you have to work with. The main thing I try to do is make sure to get the attributes correct. Uh, their pitching attributes, their pitches, uh, what what they throw, how hard they throw. For batters, try to go ahead and get their power numbers correct, their contact numbers correct. And I have a particular formula that I use that kind of weighs everything so that there's really no bias involved in the game. If a guy's hitting 300 versus righties or lefties, then he's at a particular point attribute wise Pitchers it's a little more difficult those guys. It's it's hard to to figure out where to put them exactly um, Based on control and movement. So generally what I'll do is I'll look at the stats Whenever I'm doing the updates prior to the season or during the all-star break and kind of move guys around to where they're they're at relative to where their performance is at for other guys on the team. And again, it, it's it's possible to get some some kind of system of rating guys accurately for pitchers, but it's a little bit more difficult than it is for the hitters. So here we go ahead and we look at Atlanta. We can see in the in the majors right now. Um, these are guys that I have here up on their major league roster. You could see Garcia, Dickey, Cologne, their off-season acquisitions. You, could, you can go down the list here. 
I'll kind of take it down here most of the way. Go ahead and go over to AAA, take a look at some of their guys. Now, these aren't guys that are necessarily in AAA, but based on their attributes, their star rating for career potential, this is where I put them. Um, the main thing, as I had said before, was to fill out the Major League AAA and AA rosters as, as much as possible for most teams. Atlanta's was easy, like I said, because they have so many guys on the roster. One thing I did was things tend to get out of whack a little bit. Teams trade a lot. Some teams are trading guys for a bunch of prospects, so they may end up with a bunch of players. Whereas a team like Houston, for instance, they had 48 guys on the roster. So took some some caps from other teams, some empty players, uh, retired guys, guys that are off playing in Korea, and just kind of moved them over to Houston just to bring them up to 60. So each season prior to the season, that's what I do, so it doesn't get too far out of whack where... Again, you have a team, for instance, say Atlanta had 90 guys and Houston only had 45. You know, that wouldn't, that wouldn't really work out for you guys if you were Houston fans. <clears throat> now, on to single A. For almost, I would say for all the teams except Atlanta, I think Tampa might have had a couple guys on the single A roster. But every other team, they just have these junk guys. And if you look at my description in... The auction write-up, I call these guys scrubs. They're just pitchers that are retired. They're out of the game. Put them at 25 stamina. Give them a basic fastball and a secondary pitch. That's so when you move on to the second season, if you are somebody who likes to go on and play multiple seasons, that at least there's some pitching that's filled out at double A, and then at least there's something in single A because if you don't have pitchers in single A even if you have drafted hitters and those hitters say they may only have 30 or 40 for contact and power you end up getting these strangely skewed numbers when you simulate you'll have guys hitting 50 60 home runs and even though I've done that I try to get each team about eight of these guys so that there's at least enough to fill out a game or two and then they have the off days and they get rest and their stamina gets recovered but it, you'll still see some guys in a second season third season that'll really start to put up crazy numbers at single a but this is a tool i found that was the most effective as opposed to not doing anything and just leaving these pitchers at one for stamina because if you if you really simulate a bunch of seasons, I'm sitting there right now and I'm simulating through, I'm up to 22, and I just want to see what the pitching looks like. So it, 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 it gets really bad the way the computer treats free agents. They won't sign relievers. They'll leave guys lingering into their 40s when there's perfectly good guys in their 20s in the free agency pool. So... This is something I did on the front end to try to at least make it a little more realistic. But most of the teams just have batters that are that are one. See, I zeroed out, put one for their contact and power. And so the first season, you really won't see a lot in A-ball in terms of production from guys. But as seasons go forward, like I said, you'll see, you'll see some pretty good stuff. Uh, at least it keeps it a little bit accurate. So we can go ahead and, let's see, take a look at... Take a look at Boston real quick. You can see they got sale there. Uh, let's take a look at Wash uh, the White Sox. That's a good one because they had a couple acquisitions. Got Giolito in a trade with Washington. Uh, Lopez, they picked him up as well with from Washington. So, so you can see here, I went ahead and on opening day did everything, kind of tightened it up, make it, made sure everybody was where they needed to be. Let's see, go here. You can see I have more no here. This is just an example. He was still a free agent at the time I did this. And everybody else you see, they're scrubs, right? The pitchers are just here with 25 stamina. Um, the hitters, one or nothing. Um, and what I, again, you'll see pitchers here with one because I only went ahead and I did eight of those guys. 
in the future I may consider doing several more just like I said I'm always simulating just trying to see how things play out in the future just to kind of make it more realistic for the guys um, for you guys that are really into the minor league stuff let's see I, I think that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about you can always message me on eBay I love hearing from you guys I love talking to you guys talking MVP talking real baseball uh, like I said those of you who have bought you know that I always message you let you know what's going on let you know when I when I ship it out let you know that I got your orders and all that stuff so like I said I'm glad that there's a community out there that that's really kind of enjoying the updates D did these I did these in 2011 and 12 then I stopped for a few years when I went overseas probably should have led with this but came back just was just there for a couple years and, and didn't play MVP at all when I was overseas came back and got back into it got the Jones for it again in 2015 went ahead and put out a roster set for 2015 in 2016 and 2017 so things went well I mean and as I said it's it's good talking to you guys uh, like hearing from you like hearing about your experiences how you play the game again if you have any questions for me if there's anything you want to see in a future video then go ahead and leave me a comment here below it's actually the first video I put up on YouTube it's kind of just a thought to go ahead and get the word out there that the rosters are available on eBay and as I said, there'll be information below. Username on eBay is Aventura Excellence. And like I said, I'll go ahead and put all the information down below in the comments area or in the description of the video. So I just wanted to take the time to thank you guys for taking a look. And again, if this is something you're interested in, go ahead and contact me. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact me. Keep in mind the shortcomings. I do the best I can. Uh, you see here, guys are generic, right? Jose Abreu, Lucas Giolito, generic faces. And as I said, there's limitations with what you can do in A-ball. But as long as you guys understand the limitations and realize that you're getting 60 to 70 actual players on the rosters that you can go ahead and work with for several seasons, then you guys should really enjoy this stuff. I'm not, and one final thing I wanted to say was I'm not just a guy who sits here and does these rosters because what I charge really isn't kind of commensurate with the amount of work that goes into it I do these so I can play and what I usually do is I wait until July so let me say this there's three good times to buy right at the beginning of the season in July during the all-star break when I do an update on the stats and the attributes and at the end of the season when I go ahead and make sure everything's accurate for the offseason Anytime's a good time to buy. Kind of went back on what I said, but uh, one other thing, I keep remembering these things as I go along, but when you buy, I go ahead and update it to that particular point. So I'm putting this video out in mid-April. If you're watching this video in July, August, September, for instance, you don't even need to worry about it because every time somebody buys, I go ahead and take a look at the transaction list and I go ahead and update everything so that you guys get the most accurate rosters as possible. For me, though, I like to play it after the All-Star break. So I give it some time. I'm off playing other games or doing other things. But I like to get into it after the All-Star break. Guys kind of perform better or worse than expected. You have young guys coming up. Guys come out of nowhere. So that update kind of takes into consideration that part of it. That's how I do it. Talking to guys, they have their own way of doing things. Some guys buy in the off season. Some guys have bought right at the beginning of the season. But how you do it's up to you. I'm just here. I provide these rosters for your enjoyment. And how you enjoy them is really up to you. So thanks again, guys, for checking this video out. Sorry it got a little long. Um, find me on eBay. Thank you very much. And enjoy MVP.